Hello and welcome to a very special um, No Small Roles bonus content. Uh, I'm in the GMC, everybody. This is a little um, a precursor to our upcoming adventure, A Familiar Problem, um, where I'm going to talk our players through how to play A Familiar Problem. So, uh, players, can you all say who you are? Let's see who c- says their words first. Daryl. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Chris. I'm Ben. And I'm David. Yay! Yay. Yeah. We I'm sure they're going to be really lovely to me because I'm never an annoying player myself. <laughs> <laughs> Ding. Facts. Payback. <laughs> Missed you. I think I'm a pain in the... <laughs> pain in the what? what a, a pain in the bottom because we are going to try <laughs> and not swear in this little series. So, folks, if you have thought that you'd like your children, your nieces, your nephews, your nibblings to have a listen to No Small Roles, we are not going to swear, are we, gang? Nope. nope. No. We're going to try. i jar ready. We are going to try <laughs> and we really will hard. bleep them if they happen. <laughs> yes. We'll just maybe... We'll oh, replace we it just... with animal noises. Yes, that is exactly what yeah. I was about to say. <laughs> ben, you are in my brain. <laughs> so we are going to be playing A Familiar Problem, which is uh, published by Darrington Press, uh, created by Marisha Ray and designed by Grant Howitt. Very exciting. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, saw them play on Critical Role about the same time as Rowana went and flew off. And we thought, do you know what? Why don't we just use this as a nice little opportunity to have our little crazy one shot with some animals? So let's get into some rules and stuff. Yeah, so, rules is how, fun. How to play. Uh, you can make a character by rolling or choosing a species. Now there are 12 that you can choose from. And then you can roll, or I'm gonna I'm deciding you can choose, if you want to, three of the pocket magic spells on the pocket magic table. Ooh. Now you can only cast these three spells once. Once they're <gasps> gone. They are gone for good. So, team, use these three spells very, very wisely. So, uh, should we do that first? Yeah! Yeah. Yeah. Does anybody want to choose theirs, or are you all going to roll and let fate decide? I'm going to roll and let fate decide. (laughs) Yeah, me too. Let's see what the cycle of strings brings on. I've chosen mine already. Then you are allowed to. Yeah. I feel like your your familiar would know what ones he wants. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I would. I'm gonna roll. I'll, I'll roll, and then I'll tell you all later what they are in a minute. Okay. All right. Well, shall we start with Daryl talking us through what pocket magic you've decided to use? I've chosen mist, butterfinger, and door magic. Very nice. And for the listeners at home, would you uh, mind elaborating on what those three spells do? Yes. So, uh, mist fills an area with creepy, obscuring fog for a while. I, for that unspecified time is left up to Grace's imagination, I assume. Yes, indeed. Butterfingers, a target drops whatever they're holding. And door magic opens, closes, locks, unlocks doors. All the classics. <laughs> but as Grace says, I can only cast each one of these spells only once. Noise. Okay, I, I've rolled for mine. What you got? I rolled five, first of all, which is Ignite Fire. Yes. Nice. Um, which is like lighting a whole box of matches at once. I then rolled five again two more times, so I'm going to discard those. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I then rolled a seven, which is mist, which uh, Daryl has just described, I believe. And then I rolled a three, which is conjure slick, which is make a patch of slippery oil. Very nice. Chris? Okay, so I have rolled and my character um, can summon whole only a foot or so across, mind you. Wizard digits, which means it's like <laughs> telekinesis with limited fine control. And the last one is summon horse, just a regular old horse. <laughs> oh. Okay. Why? Oh. I don't know. We'll see what happens. <laughs> oh God, I, love it. I feel it's kind of poetic that you've got that one, Chris. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Isn't mm. it? I mean, obviously, you know, you're not playing Gaius right now, but still, he's always in your heart. <laughs> always. And oh, he always Bessie. misses Bessie. Oh, Bessie. I can't wait ah, to kill Bessie. it. <laughs> <laughs> I summon horse and I kill it. And it dies. In front of a train. And... Oh, no. 
<laughs> Child yeah. friendly. Okay, David. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Trains don't exist in Jervain. It's fine. <laughs> they do in this part because I'm in charge. Mom, mom, no, they, they, they don't. They don't. Are you don't. sure about that? <laughs> they definitely don't. Sorry, David. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to go like a mix. I'm going to choose one that's. Uh, um, I'm going to choose number eight, soak. Conjure a bucket full of water, bucket not included. No, I just feel like <laughs> Ruana's uh, time in the in the Lockhart Wood, you know, being creepy around water. Uh, you know, maybe she could still do that. Nice. Oh, somebody's sending me text, and my phone is buzzing. I just gonna, what we need. I thought you. Fu- it sounds like a fart, fart when it comes through. <laughs> yeah. Which I have to say, for a family friendly podcast, is ideal. It is great. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get these That's so graphic. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to go soak, but I'm going to roll for the others. So I rolled uh, a six, which is limited invisibility. Works Ooh. as long as you don't move. Um, and then my last one. Whoa. Number one, Butterfingers. A target drops whatever they're holding. So yeah, Butterfingers, limited invisibility and soak. Very nice. I'm slightly tempted to drop mist and swap it for speak with object, just because Daryl's got mist <laughs> and speak with object is such a ridiculous... Spell. <laughs> I'm slightly sad if no one in the party has it. has to talk. I, yeah, that one made me laugh a lot. Uh, please read out the uh, description of it. Speak with object. Objects aren't very interesting, though. <laughs> Is the description. I mean, I really hope you do use that because I want to be an object. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to swap out mist if that's all right. Yes, I'm going to swap out mist for speak with object. Nice. Purely for the the awkward position that will put me in later when yeah. I have to <laughs> try and come It's up just, with that. it's too fun for one of us not to have that as a spell. Yeah. Have we managed to cover all the spells? Are there any that we're not using? I think the only one that we're not is change form, which is to oh. take on the form and stats of another familiar permanently. I, I, am, I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> Continuity! Continuity. Excellent stuff. All right. So we now know what our pocket magic is. Yeah. Now, three of you have already chosen what species you're going to play, haven't you? So mm-hmm. would you like to give us a rundown of your species or do you want to save it for in-game as a surprise? Um, I'm playing an owl. An owl. Mm-hmm. Lovely. Chris? I am playing a black cat. Very nice. And I'm playing Ruana. Yay! <laughs> Who, Who is currently... Time, currently a hawk. Yeah. Hey. A hawk. And um, Ben, we are going to find out more about your character. Uh, we're yeah. going to actually roll for it live during the game. It's going to be we? live in the game. Yay! Well, hey, Ooh, chaos. I'm, sex- I'm excited. Chaos. <laughs> so- chaos. I love chaos apart from when I choose a spell that I don't quite want and then I change it. <laughs> <laughs> Not too much chaos. <laughs> yeah. You'll just keep on rolling until you come this. up with the species you're happy yeah. with playing. <laughs> so, talking of rolling. So, for this game, we use a D10. I never use them. I know, right? I think maybe that's why they designed it, just so we'd use something we don't use as often. <laughs> I don't know if they look, seem as satisfying to roll, though, to be fair. I'm not going to... They're like little big tops. They're a bit... Yeah. No, not little big tops. <laughs> They're like little spinning tops. Spinning Tell that tops. to my Eldritch Blasts. Oh, oh, yeah, that's true. Do you use Eldritch Blasts? It's detail. So when there is, a, if you decide you're going to do something that I believe the outcome could be in doubt, then I will ask you to roll a d10 and add the most appropriate stat. Now, you have four stats, clever, fierce, sly and quick. Mm. Clever is talking to people and understanding their strange culture. Fierce is to bite, scratch, scare, and make a loud noise. Sly for hiding, seeking, disguise and tricking. Quick is to climb, dodge, outrun and spot. So, you know, some, you'll want to do some things that don't fit exactly with what is described there, but we will, we will judge best as we see fit. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Now, if you roll equal to or higher than the difficult number that I determine, I have all the power, you will succeed. Any lower than the number and you will fail. Now, if you want to make your task easier for yourselves, you can try and break it down to multiple tasks. I don't know if that's a note for me as a GM or you as players. <laughs> so I'm reading it out. Um, both. Now, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, now, if you fail on a one or succeed on a ten, uh, the adventurers around, um, not all of you have your adventurers nearby, but uh, something could happen from them to make the task easier or a lot harder and they probably won't even notice 
because uh, they're busy doing their own things and you're just familiars doing yours. So Chris asked me before we turn the microphones on what stress is, uh, well, what the break is. Now, when you fail a dangerous task, I will ask you to mark down one stress. When you roll a die to resolve an action, so the next time you're rolling for anything, if you ever roll equal to or under your stress, you lose it. You break and you ignore the emission and you act as is outlined in your break. So each of you will see that there's a different way that your type of species reacts (laughs) when it's just like, what's going on? Okay. Um, So that'd be quite fun. If the other familiars can help you calm down and rescue you from whatever trouble you've gotten into before the end of the scene, shall we say, you can set your stress back down to zero and continue. Mm. Now, it is imperative that your fellow familiars try and calm you down because otherwise you will disappear off the familiar plane and play no further in the game. (gasps) (gasps) Yeah. Okay. There are stakes here. Mm. So. Does everybody understand that? Oh, yeah. Cool. yeah. Also, if you really hate anybody else's character, then... <laughs> Make them don't, stressed. Yeah, just get them real stressed. <laughs> yeah. No, don't do that. This is meant to be lovely. <laughs> yeah, we're Hopefully. All friends. <laughs> we're all friends. We're having a nice time. Yeah. You can tell we're getting into silly mode because uh, the lads are starting to give themselves some fun backgrounds, which. Oh, you can see are... that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm in a field. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Wee! David's in David, a field. David's surrounded by massive ground. Daryl went to space. It oh, was no. lovely. <laughs> 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 what else were you hearing about to put as I a background? I thought it was sampling only for me. <laughs> oh, Chris is on the beach. Oh no! It's Christmas. <laughs> oh no! It's like we've gone back to the beginning of lockdown. Oh, no. What is Zoom? <laughs> Zoom. Oh, what is Zoom? How it work? <laughs> so, gang, do you have any questions for me? No. No, no, let's go no. for it. <laughs> then let's do it. Let's play. Uh, thank you very much, listeners, and we'll see you in the game. Hooray! <gasps>